okay let's solve this problem in this problem it is said that two steel i beams each with mass of 100 kg are welded together at right angles and lifted by vertical cables so that the beams remain in a horizontal plane and it is said that compute the tension in each of the cables a b and c so the tension in cable a will be acting upwards right so this will be let's say t a similarly this will be t b and here we will have tension in this cable this is tc and the weight of each of these i beam is 100 kg right so if we multiply this 100 kg with 9.81 so this is 981 newtons right so they will be acting at the midpoints of both of these i beams right so the total length of these uh, i beam is 2.4 meters right so the midpoint of the mid length of uh, both of these i beams will be 2.4 divided by 2 so that is 1.2 meters right so if we represent the weight of both of these i beams so the weight of this i beam will be acting somewhere here right from this edge will be how much so this distance this length will be 1.2 right so let's say that this length is 1.2 and this length will be how much so this will be 0.3 right so let me write that this is 0.3 and similarly the weight of this i beam will be acting at the mid length right so again it will be acting here so this is 981 newton and this is again 981 newton and this distance will be how much so this distance will be again this will be 1.2 right so remember now uh, i will draw the axis right so let's define our coordinate system right so let's see that this is our x axis is right and this is our y axis is and the z axis will be acting upwards right so this is the z axis is right so now if we find the summation of moment about the y axis is right if we apply the summation of moment about the y axis is equal to 0 so then we have to observe all these forces from this direction right so now as we can see that tb and tc they are intersecting the y axis and this this weight they are intersecting this y axis so they will not produce the moment about the y axis so only this weight and this ta are producing the moment about y axis right so as we can see that this ta will produce the moment about y axis in this direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative y direction so we can say that ta is producing the clockwise moment about y axis right so and the perpendicular distance of this ta from the y axis is this 2.4 meters right so we will write 2.4 multiplied by ta right and this weight will produce the moment about y axis is in the opposite direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so our thumb will point out in the positive y direction right so i will write plus 981 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that y axis is the half of this 2.4 right so from let's say this is o and let's say this is x right so this o x distance right so this point is x so this o x distance is how much so it is 2.4 divided by 2 so this is 1.2 and this will be equal to 0 so now from this equation we can find this ta so ta will be equal to minus 981 into 1.2 divided by minus 2.4 so from this ta is equal to 4 and 90.5 newtons now we will apply the summation of moment about the x axis is equal to 0 so for that we will observe these forces from this direction right so now as we can see that this ta and this uh, weight this weight is intersecting with this x axis and this ta is intersecting with this x axis right so they will not produce the moment about the x axis so this tc this tb and this one this weight will produce the moment about the x axis right so now as we can see that this tb will produce the moment about the x axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative z direction right so this means that tb is producing the clockwise moment about the x axis so we will write minus 
uh, TB and the perpendicular distance of this TB from the X axis is, is this much. This is 0.9, right? So, we will write 0.9 TB. Similarly, this TC will produce the moment about the X axis is in this direction. And if we curl our right hand fingers, so the thumb will point out in the positive X direction. So, we can write that this is the positive moment and the perpendicular distance of TC from the X axis is, is this 1.5 meters. So, I will write plus 1.5 TC. And as we can see that this this weight is producing the moment about y axis as well. So, it will produce the moment in this direction, right? So, if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so the thumb will point out in the negative i direction, in the negative x direction. So, we can write that this will be minus 981 and the perpendicular distance of this 981 from this x axis is, is 1.5 minus this distance is 1.2, right? So, 1.5 minus 1.2, so this distance is 1.3, right? So, we will write 1.3. So, we will, multi uh, sorry, this is 0.3, right? 1.5 minus 1.2 is 0.3. So, we will multiply this with 0.3. So, this will be equal to 0. So, now, if we divide this whole equation by 1.5, right? So, this will be minus 0 0.60 B and 1.5 divided by 1.5 will be 1. So, this will be TC. And if we bring this to the other side of equation, so this will be 981 into 0.3 divided by 1.5. So, we can simplify this. So, if I write TC first, so TC minus 0 0.6 TB and this will be equal to 196.2. Let us say this is equation A, right? Now, if we apply the summation of forces along the z axis is equal to 0, so, as we can see that all the forces are acting along the z-axis, right? So, we will write Ta. So, Ta plus Tb uh, plus Tc. All these three uh, tensions are acting in the positive z direction, right? And similarly, those both of these weights are acting in the negative z direction. So, I will write minus 2 times 981 and this will be equal to 0. And now, since we know the T A magnitude, so we can write, we can write it like this as well. So, this will be, if I write T C first, so T C plus T B and this will be equal to 2 into 981 minus T A, right? So, T A is 490.5. So, T C plus T B equals to 1471.5. Right. Let us say this is equation B and now if I subtract equation A from B. So, let me write equation A here. This is our equation A. So, T C minus 0 0.6 T B equals to 196.2 and if we subtract uh, this equation A from B. So, then this will become minus this will become plus and this will become minus. So, this will cancel out. And this will be 1.6 TB and 147.1 uh, 1471.5 minus 196.2 is 1275.3. And if we divide uh, this by 1.6, so TB equals to 1275.3 divided by 1.6. So, from this TB equals to 797 Newton, right? So, this is the tension in the in this cable, right? And now, we can use this equation A. So, uh, if I use this equation A, so we can find TC. So, from this TC equals to 196.2 plus 0 0.6 TB, right? So, th this will become positive on the other side of equation. So, 196.2 plus 0 0.6 TB and TB is 970, uh, 797, right? So, I will write 797. So, from this TC equals to 674 Newtons, right? So, this is the solution of this particular problem.